Hello! In this video, I'll show you how you can set up a pull request to prevent a merge from happening if the change contains a secret. I'm pretty sure that in most cases, you don't want a secret to be merged into the main branch of a repository. Let's just go straight into the demo. Here is a pull request. And this pull request contains a secret in the source branch. But don't worry, this is not an actual secret we use. It's just a random string in the format of a secret. Note that there is a report being shown here. It's called git secret scan, and it also appears here in the context of the change itself. This report has been added by the git secret scan pipe, which is available in our pipeline. Let me show you. Here is our pipeline, and uh, you can see that there is this pipe, which is defined here. And this is a pipe that you can use in your own repositories with the syntax I just showed. This is the repo where you can find some more details about this pipe. On a pipeline execution, the pipe scans the repository files for hard-coded sensitive data and creates a security report. I'll post the link to this pipe and all the relevant links in the video description so that you'll be able to set up the same behavior in just a few simple and quick steps. At this stage, there isn't a custom merge check set up for this repository, as you can see from the panel here on the right which is empty. And because there isn't a custom merge check set up, this pull request and the secret that is part of it could be merged into the main branch. So how do we add this merge check? It only takes a few minutes, probably even less than that. Here is a public repository with the source code that you can use to add this merge check. Behind the scenes, each custom merge check is defined as a forge app. If we check the content of the app, we'll see that there is a manifest file. The manifest file defines a few of the details of the merge check, like the name, which is available here, and the description, this one, which will appear in the Bitbucket UI. It also defines the permissions that are required by the app and the function. In the app, the function handler is index.run, which is available here. So let's open this file. This file is available in the source folder and it's the index.ts. We can see what the function does when we open this file and look for the run function. The merge check code is retrieving the pull request using the Bitbucket REST API. So this is where we are getting the pull request and this is the function where it's called. This step is required to retrieve the source commit hash, which is then used to check if there are any reports associated to that commit hash. And this is done using another Bitbucket REST API. So this is the commit hash of the source branch, which we retrieved from the call we ran just a step before. And in this function, we are requesting the, the reports and the reports are retrieved using this other REST API. If there is at least one failed report for the secrets scan pipe, the run function will return false as success, which is here. And it will also add a message failed security reports found, which will be displayed in the UI. Let me now show you how from this repository you can add the custom merge check to your repository. The first thing to do is to clone the repository. Let me grab the URL. All the next steps that I'm doing are available in the readme of the repository. So let's do the npm install after we browse to the folder of the cloned repository. We now need to run the forge register command, which is used to register the app to your account so that you can manage it. Let's give the app a name. Let's now deploy the app. Now that the app has been deployed, let's install it in my workspace. I'll run the forge install command. 
and select Bitbucket. I now need to enter the URL of my Bitbucket workspace. and accept the permissions or scopes that this app requires to run. Okay, now that the app has been installed in my workspace, let's go back to the workspace and complete the setup by going to Setup Custom Checks. We can see here the name that we gave to the app and the description. Let's turn it on. And as you can see, this check will run on Merge. So let's go back to my workspace. We can see that the UI already changed and there is a Merge here ready to be run or waiting to run on Merge. Let's try to Merge. We can see that the Merge failed and that's because of our Merge check stopped our pull request from being merged. In just a few minutes, we solved a common compliance need with a custom merge check which prevents a pull request merge if the commit contains a secret. You can add this feature now to your workspace by following the steps I just showed you. To learn more about Forge, this app, and how to start using it, you can find the links in the video description below. If you have any questions, you can visit our community and the link will also be available in the description. And if you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments and check the other videos in this playlist. Bye!